this is the fourth video on the topic variables and data types. If you are interested in watching the first three videos before you continue, the links are given in the description box. Remember that I mentioned in the previous video that Python will treat each type of variable in a different way. We already know one such example. When we created variables, if the value was integer, we wrote the value without quotes and if the value was string, we had to put it within quotes. This is an example of how Python has different rules for integers and strings. Python has different rules for printing integers and strings also. Let us see those rules now and let's start with printing some integers and strings. Let us go to Python. We have a variable such as pet name equal to within single quotes Zoe. Then we will print it like this. We will write print within single quotes the name of my puppy is and then we will write one more statement which will be print pet name. Now let us print this. So let us save the file and run the code. But this does not look great, isn't it? It would be very nice if we can get my puppy name is Zoe in the same sentence. To do that, we have to know how to print a statement to join this sentence and this variable together in the same line. How do we do that? Now we know that if data has words in it, then the variable is a string variable. So pet name is a string variable. To print a sentence and a string variable, we are going to write print, open the bracket, close the bracket. When we want to print sentences, we write the sentences within single quotes. Correct? So we put single quotes and within the single quote we will write the name of the puppy is and then percentage s. What is this percentage s? My puppy name is Zoe. Why am I printing the name of my puppy is percentage s? It looks very odd, isn't it? When we run the code, this is a place where the value of our variable will be printed in the output. We wrote the sentence and now we have to tell Python which variable to print in the sentence, correct? So after the sentence we will write percentage and within bracket we will give pet name. So now Python will take the value of pet name and show it in the place where we put a percentage s in the statement. The value of that variable is Zoe. So with the sentence Zoe will be printed in the output. Let us save the file and run the code. So my puppy name is Zoe is printed. So let me repeat this again. Python will take the value of the string variable and show it in the place where we wrote percentage s. Now let us change the value of pet name to biscuit. So I remove Zoe and I put biscuit. Let us save the file and run the code. So now we get the output as my puppy name is biscuit. We can change the value of pet name again and again and print it and we will get different sentences as output. We can write percentage s anywhere in the statement. Let us write a different print statement now. Now I want to print Zoe is the name of my puppy. So in this sentence Zoe is the first word. So first let me change the pet name here to Zoe. Then now let me write my print statement. So I write print within single quotes I put percentage s is the name of my puppy. Now I am going to tell which variable python should look for. So I put percentage and within brackets I write pet name. Now let's save the file and run the code. We got the sentence that we want. Now let us see how to print integer variables. When we want to print integer variables we will use percentage d 
instead of percentage s. So let us say we have a variable age equal to 14 and now we want to print the sentence my age is 14. So we can write print within single quotes my age is percentage d because it is an integer variable. After that we put percentage again and tell python to look for age as the variable. So save the file and run the code. Again we got the sentence that we wanted as output. So just like in string variable we can print the value anywhere within the sentence at the beginning or in the middle or at the end. When I am recording this video it is raining in Bangalore and the temperature is 22 degree Celsius. So can you create a variable temperature equal to 22 degrees Celsius and then print this statement. It is raining in Bangalore and the temperature is 22 degree Celsius. Please print this statement and I will see you in the next video.